And apparently, uh, emergence does help you explain why some types of very complex things happen, like the path of water around obstacles, like the movement of traffic. The people who ran the, who run the mega computers, the supercomputers that were modeling uh, atomic blasts um, a few years ago, so that's probably 10 years ago, um, they weren't doing so much of that because, you know, nuclear weaponry is not a, such a hot topic of, of science anymore, thankfully. And so they're trying to find something to do with these supercomputers, and one of the things they thought they would do is model traffic. Because traffic is on an order of complexity, apparently, the same order of complexity as nuclear explosions. There's some very sort of obvious everyday things that are enormously complex. We have not had the tools. How glass fractures? I mean, how things shatter? We have not had the tools to deal with, and emergence um, and complexity theory give us tools to do that. That's, that's not only a, a big advance in that it opens up some new areas, it also is a big advance because it changes our basic picture of how the world works. From a more mechanistic one with simple principles that you can plug in the numbers and get the results, to seeing that uh, actually that works very well for a big class of stuff, but there's a lot of life and some of the most interesting parts of life simply too complex for that.